Let's have a fantastic third game. And those of you that are joining the channel, thank you, and I appreciate uh, all of your support. I'm going to be going ahead and show you some pictures. So I'm doing a 24-hour Evolve Marathon to celebrate the three-month anniversary of the launch. I'm going to be doing that starting midnight Eastern on Saturday night, or Saturday morning technically, 12.01 a.m. Uh, Sunday however that works. Uh, but I do have lots of swag to be given away. I've got 37 physical items to be able to be shipped out, including a much coveted art book that is signed by all the Turtle Rock Studio developers. It's a really incredible uh, item. I wish that I could keep it, but I am not just because and I think I missed my the, uh, what everybody was. So let me go ahead and cut back to the game. We haven't even picked it yet. No, even better. Okay, my brother. The nice thing about my brother playing in the game is that he can tell me what's going on sometimes when I'm not not paying attention. What's going on? We're dying. <clears throat> I agree. Z Z one Z one Z inst instant. Two thousand forty nine. That's your name. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I agree. I, I think Evolve is like one of the best games to come out in a long time. I really like it, and I think the biggest reason why I personally like it is that there is a lot of mental acuity involved with it. It's not just a Twitch shooter. It's not just a you know a uh, an RTS. I mean, like there's just a lot of thought process, and I feel that sixty to seventy percent of the game is just knowing how to read your opponent and how to capitalize on their mistakes and as such it reminds me of the netrunner living card game which i was a very very big fan of as well as poker in general like i feel like that there's a lot of you're you know you're playing the person you're not necessarily playing a gun or a, i mean i don't know it's hard to explain but i really really like that oh and it looks like that we've got a nice little purple skin over here oh and we've got z flying beast so this is actually a pretty decent team uh, for Kraken. Markov should probably be on his... Actually, the nice thing about Lightning Gun on this one is because of the ability to hit him while he's flying. Most of the ceilings are low, and there's a lot of low area, so he's usually not a high up in the air. So his Lightning Gun is actually pretty decent. And it looks like somebody is swapping out. Yeah. Nope. Maybe it was just changing his skin to the nice orange. Ein, Einstein. Oh, okay, it's the X's that threw me off. I just treat it like a first person shooter. I treat it like a first person shooter just to <clears throat> eat behind pillars and stuff. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and see Kraken. So the biggest thing against Kraken is that it's not a DPS race. You don't go all in. Basically, you want to do a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. The biggest uh, weakness that Kraken has is that he really... For some reason, I don't know why I had sound. That was weird. Um, for some reason, I feel that the... Okay, so it looks like he left tracks and the direction going that way. So it looks like he's actually going down here. Now, a good person will actually look and see that this had mocked down and that he left footprints right there so not the greatest and sneakiest of starts and we will see especially with maggie i think maggie is just going to go straight here so it'll be very interesting to see that being the case though <clears throat> i do enjoy a good cracking game so this little area there is sky area so you can get carrion birds around the drill area like in the water not the water but like the basin area so something to be aware of and it looks like he startled birds anyway so now they startled birds. It's going to be interesting to see where he goes. I'm wondering if he's going to try and sneak and wait for them to go past. So it's possible, but because Maggie is so there, is close there now. Normally you can juke Daisy very well, but this is actually a very bad position to juke her. The reason being is because your loud tri track tricks are going straight. Or yeah, Daisy's going to point right to you. So it looks like he's. I don't know if they're waiting for a dome or. Or what? There's a nice little trap. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they were waiting on the dome or there we go. There's the dome. So the dome, fantastic. Okay, so it looks like that the monster is going to get domed. Oh, and it looks like Markov is now an AI, which is going to be unfortunate for them. The nice thing is, oh, okay, so it looks like he's got Vortex and Banshee Mines. Lightning Gun 
destroys Banshee Mines right now uh, in their current state. So Monarch's being careful. Uh, you don't want to be separated as a Kraken. So Kraken's biggest weakness is the ability to puncture a hole in their defense. It's all about capitalizing and causing a domino effect. And that's where Kraken really shines. And as such, Kraken's all about doing a little damage here, a little damage there, until you basically make an opening and then you capitalize on it. It's... Excuse me. It's kind of hard to do at stage one just because you usually lack the burst to be, be able to do it. But it can happen. And so it looks like right now he's just trying to do everything he can to try and take as little damage as possible. I like that everyone's doing damage. That's a very, very good attitude to have. And I really like the idea that True over here is doing damage. Knocking those Banshee Mines. And it looks like that everyone's just doing a little bit of damage. And there goes the... Very, very little damage actually done. I would have liked to have seen a lot more damage done. And I feel that, like, as a stage one, you probably could have gotten in the Kraken's face a little bit more. You have Kyra. Kyra can spam AoE grenades in one little corner and basically out-heal a stage one monster. Pretty much regardless of skills, unless it goes to a three-point skill. So, as such... Ooh, poor to kick... What the heck? Interesting. So we'll see if Markov uh, comes up. Now the hardest thing with a bot though is that it the bot refuses to do splits right. I never saw that mine before. I wonder if that's like a homage to the drill from uh, the original Total Recall with Schwarzenegger. Okay, so it looks like that they are catching up with the monster again. Monster not quite at full armor, but did surprisingly well, all things considered, of not taking a lot of permanent health damage, even though that was a very, very bad place to get domed. Okay, so it looks like that the Trapper is getting ready to go ahead and throw a another dome. Once again, uh, going to this little... And this is what I called earlier the little sinker because it's like kind of an indent there, an indent here, and an indent there. Uh, and so th that's kind of the area when you don't know where the monster is, you want to be around this line. I do like this. Look at this. These trap layouts. These traps are perfect. So if the monster does try and get through, it's just going to make it very, very easy for them to throw a dome. And there comes another dome. Fantastic. Fantastic job. The monster probably can get around this entire... Yeah, so this is going to be a hard fight for them. Oh, no, is this a dead end? Oh, this is even better for them. If I were them, I'd like to see them all charge up the hill. Yes, you're going to take a little damage and stuff, but as long as everyone's healed up, your Kyra is going to be able to take care of you all the way. So I'd love to see... Oh, there goes Daisy. So Daisy might get down here. And again, I, I, I really would like to see... The hunters come up here. There's no reason to like wait because if all of you charge, and not all at once, obviously, you'll be able to go ahead. One person, the first person up, will eat the first vortex. But it's a stage one. You're not going to be taking that much damage, and Kyra is going to be able to heal you all the way through that. So I would like to see them be a little bit more aggressive. <coughs> and let me go ahead and send another invite to the person who got dropped. Um, but I would like to see them be a little bit more aggressive because there's really no reason not to be aggressive. Uh, stage one, uh, any monster except for maybe Behemoth has a really hard time of getting downs. And so as long as you're not being really ridiculously clumped up upstairs, I think that you could have done a very, very good job. Ugh, that's a terrible mind placement. Okay, so let's see where the monster goes. So the monster cutting through the middle. And it looks like... That's one thing I see a lot of Kraken do is they'll spit all three of those mines at the same time. And I, I'm a very big uh, opponent of that mentality. So if you throw all three at once, at best one is going to hit and they're going to knock the other three, the other two away. And they actually are, when they've been primed for a few seconds, they actually explode on their own and they won't do any damage. So throwing three at once is very, very not optimal because at best you maybe get one maybe two out of them but you'll never get all three to hit so it's better to space them out and uh when you space them out they can also come from different directions too so there's a uh, markov hopefully cardboard starts joining in so it looks like the monster is still not quite ready to evolve i feel like that the biggest thing that sound could be working on as well as map knowledge, well, I mean, I guess it would be map knowledge, uh, but also optimal feeding routes and finding out good places to eat. I think that that would help him out a lot, just because it looks like the most of his weaknesses is kind of covered just by uh, his map knowledge. 
Okay, so here comes the monster, and it looks like that the trapper was slightly out of position, and the monster was able to get by. Okay, so the monster is ready to evolve. It'll be interesting to see where he evolves. So if he comes up here and evolves over here, that is actually not too bad because he's got plenty of distance. <coughs> and, uh, I w yeah, I would like to see, again, with those three Banshee Mines, like, they're not, it's not going to do, see, look, one's going to, see, look, they both, both got knocked away, and they're not going to really do anything. They're just going to kind of fizzle out. Yeah, see how it fizzled out? So I'm, I, I disagree with doing that, especially because now the Hunters are a lot closer. Maggie might be able to get a dome off pretty soon. I feel that it's worth the risk if you can kind of go in. If the monster's not here, then fall back. But I think it, being able to dome as soon as it... Ooh, three points in Aftershock. Yay for broken skills. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and see what the next engagement is. It's going to be a lot different now that it's got two really, really strong skills. Especially Aftershock and Aftershock. I have very, very little love it for aftershock in its current state <clears throat> okay so there's a trap so it looks like you might be able to get a dome here and it looks like you might be able to get a down and it's a miss thank goodness for that trap that trap saved her life and the rest of the team really needs to be here as soon as possible fantastic monix doing amazing work with her traps here doing a great 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 job and kraken just getting snagged on them amazing job and here comes the rest of the team all grouped together, fantastic. So now they need to watch out for an aftershock hitting everybody, like that. So now the one thing about Kraken on this map is that Kraken, because of the low ceiling, aftershock does not get the movement penalty speed if you're up in the air, but if you're on the ground, it still moves slow. <coughs> and so as such, it's harder to uh, to land, but it looks like support might be going down. Ooh, look at those heals. Fantastic heals getting both the assault and the support at the same time. And it looks like Daisy went down, but Maggie doing fantastic job with those harpoon traps. Very good job. And there goes another aftershock. Oh, and it looks like the support is finally going to go down. That was a good trade. They've done a good amount of damage. And why I felt that that took way too long to get Dalzin. And it looks like Dalzin's going to go down because of an aftershock right now. Oh, maybe get out of there, get out of there. Oh, very, very close. Um, ooh, nice mine placement. So if the Kraken does drop down, oh, Zalzin needs to be very, very, very careful. Fantastic. So now the monster's at half health, and it looks like he's trying to keep engaging. Garrett, trying to determine to make a move, but it looks like Monix is going to get out. Nope, just, just barely got clipped. So it looks like a strike on Daisy and a strike on Hank for half of a stage two armor or health of a Kraken. Very, very good trade. Good job on the Hunters, doing a really good job. Uh, and again, Monix doing fantastic job with placing those harpoons and just creating this little circle pillar of death. <coughs> doing a fantastic job there. So now that the Kraken is out of there, let's see what happens. And Monix might, yeah, and it looks like, nope, Monix did not see him cut through. Oh, and there's some birds, unfortunate. So again, those three those three Banshee Mines, I, I really, really disagree with that. It's not, I can't think of any reason why throwing three at the same time is ever more beneficial than placing them around. I'd also like to see one thrown here on the wall or on the ceiling or over here because you don't see it very often and the person in front usually doesn't always have, like for a hide, they usually run with a toxic grenade. Kyra doesn't have anything that can really shoot Banshee Mines. And so a lot of times you can get some residual free damage just by putting them behind them and slowing you down just ever so slightly. Ooh, not sure what that orbital was. <clears throat> just seemed to be a random orbital drop. Uh, so I do like Assault is a little bit ahead, which is very good. That's where you want. Generally, you want the Assault to be around this area, then the Medic, then the Support, and then the Trapper. So right now, the Monster Beast should be being pinged, and the Support should be running towards the Trapper right now because the Trapper is going to dome the Monster or get engaged. But either way, the Support needs to get out of there, and the Trapper should be cutting across. Ooh, fantastic. Great Harpoon Traps just all over the place. And here comes a dome. Fantastic dome. Now all she has to do is survive. And again, those Banshee Mines just not doing the monster any worthwhile. Oh, and then now watch out for the Aftershock. Watch out for the Aftershock. Nope, going to get killed. Nice, nice attempt. So there's a strike. And it looks like that the monster is going to stay. Not sure if I agree with that, but it seems to be working out. 
So it looks like there's the Aftershock going after the Medic. And it looks like missed the Medic, but I think it hit the shield of the Assault. So it looks like he's finally deciding to leave and going somewhere else. Okay, so a little bit more meat getting close to full armor. And we'll see if he actually tries to find a good position to attack. So if I were him, I would try and lead him down here. And try and get some engagements in this hostile little spick of land. Okay, so it looks like Medic and Assault by themselves. Medic might get away. Nope. So it looks like the Medic is going to... Oh, fantastic. Oh, it looks like he just barely got out of support's range. I feel that that was just a little bit of bad communication. That basically whenever somebody's getting focused, you usually want to run towards the uh, Hank on your team, or the Medic, or the Trapper, depending on things. So it looks like that the Medic is going to go down, down, and get killed. I would like to see a little bit more punishment, but it looks like that the Assault's down. So there's a pile of bodies here, and at this point it's only the Support and Trapper left. So right now, I'd like to see them both split up, and I do like this. I like that the Trapper is running away. Ooh. No, support, don't go back for them. Oh, why? I feel that that was a mistake. There is no reason to go back. I mean, regardless, your medic is down. So even if you got your assault up, there's no reason to go back for that person. And it looks like that the monster's just going to get a free stage 3 evolve. <coughs> yeah. So whenever you're being focused, the best thing is to find, basically, if you're the medic, you want to go towards the support. If you're the support, you want to go towards the trapper. If you're the trapper, usually you kind of want to go for the medic. Um, and you usually want to have that chain. So as soon as the medic was getting focused, uh, I feel like they probably could have done the best job by just running towards the, the support. And then you could get shielded and or invised. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I like so now this is actually a hard relay for the monster. So if the mon the hunters are down this alley down there, they can shoot you and they can set up a base of operations there and they can do a lot of damage there. So Monix unfortunately is on the opposite side of the relay and it looks like the monster sees him. Oh, and there's the first trap. So should be laying lots and lots of traps. I like to see him bunny hopping and dropping traps as much as possible. Okay, so Kraken going back to the relay. So again, like I, this this relay over here, I'd like to see a lot of hunters positioned up in this area. The reason being is because you can shoot the monster from this little ha hallway, and you can set up harpoon trap. <coughs> Excuse me. You can set up harpoon traps. You can do all sorts of wonderful, nasty things to the monster um, in this area. And it looks like that that's kind of where Daisy might be going. Nope. Just trying to get a, a, a position to go ahead and shoot the monster. Oh, and there's that really, really broken aftershock. Again, I'm not a big fan of the. I would have liked to have seen see that uh, see him not eat the corpse and use that meat for later on. Oh wow, I can actually see inside the ship. That's cool. Hey, look, there's a cupcake. Aw. I'm going to see if I can get a better shot. So, right now, the hunters have a really hard time. If they can for Oh, and they even started in that position. If they could stay in that position hall and just keep on... Oh, nice orbital. If they could actually stay back there and fortify that solid area, they might actually have a chance. I don't think that you want to fight him out here because all he's going to do is the aftershock cheese and that gets negated by that short area. So, there goes the cloak. And Medic keeping back here. Oh, run away and get ready for that pounce. Fantastic. Got the assault back up. And there's that aftershock. And cardboard is about to go down. Okay, so it looks like the, the Medic is going to be down as well in just a second. So everyone's with two strikes when they get back. And this is a very hard position. I don't think there's anything Pygmy can do to keep the Kraken away for a minute with that low of health. So I think that this is probably much GG for the Kraken. Um, but good attempt, but I would have liked to have seen the, the Hunters in the back area would be a lot better. <laughs> GG.
I don't know. I wish there was an ability where you could just take out your own death and just have a. I'm telling you, I just want I want C4 on Daisy for when she's the last survivor. <laughs> <laughs> just send her in and take off one bar of health. <laughs> yeah, that'd be exactly. That game was super frustrating. The amount of the amount of shields that I don't know. I must have like been just out of range, or I don't really know what was happening because I was sort of clicking and it wasn't going. But then it did go. It was mostly line of sight issues. Whenever whenever it looked like somebody, it was usually just because they went around a corner or something like that. Um, that being the case, uh, usually I, I like to follow the, like, the, there's a, a certain, um, so if you're getting focused, like, let's say if you're a medic, especially if you have a Sunny that with a drone down or a, or a Hank on your team, whenever you start getting focused or see the monster, always start heading towards the support. Whenever the support gets focused, you always want to head towards the trapper. And whenever the trapper gets, uh, starts getting focused, you always want to head towards the medic. And so I feel like if Zalzin just went toward, went right Right instead of straight, because um, he you got the first shield, but then he went and broke line of sight, and that's when he got downed, and uh, that was kind of the domino effect. That like that's the hard part with Kraken is Kraken is really easy until you get one or two strikes on key players, and that's that's what makes it really really hard. Uh, that being the case, you guys did some really good uh, domes at the beginning. However, I would have liked to see you be a lot more aggressive. Uh, you knew that the monster had at least two skills, and so a lot of times you'd just be hiding in a little area trying to play king of the hill of that little area. But I, I kind Kyra by herself can sit there and AOE face tank pretty much an entire stage one Kraken no matter what without any worries at all. So if, I feel like if you were a lot more aggressive, you would have put a lot more pressure on him, which means later on you would have been able to keep up with him and he didn't have to feel as relaxed because he had a, a, a lot much larger health pool to work with. Um, obviously it didn't work you know, too well when Markov went down, um, but like for instance that second dome when you're running around the pillars, uh, again, Monox, your, your traps were in spectacular positions. You did a very, very good job with those um, all, all the way through you know great healing great great shielding uh, I just feel that if there was a little bit more communication that whenever you get focused you went towards a certain teammate um, that that would have made a little bit difference also that relay there was a, um, uh, a a hallway where you can shoot the monster, and the monster has to come to you and has to go through a tunnel and against a kraken. That's very very important, just because it limits how high it can fly because he's going to be fighting you in the caves, and you can f set up a very very strong defensive perimeter in that area, especially with a Markov and a <laughs> excuse me with a Maggie. By laying that whole, because there's one little area where the Kraken would have to go down, and you can't fly, so it would have to use abilities or just take a bunch of Markov mind damage. Um, either way, the monster comes through either damaged or without with some skills on cooldown, which allows you to kind of use that place to your uh, fortification for the difference. Um, but really, really good job. Otherwise, um, you know, unfortunate that you know Mark Markov DC'd when he did. That being said, uh, Sound, you're doing really good. I feel like just the biggest weakness for you right now is just map knowledge, especially with that one. Um, I can usually tell you weren't. You, 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 you weren't too sure on where to go for the food, uh, where good evolve spots are, uh, but like your engagements are pretty good for the most part, but I feel like the biggest thing is just map knowledge in general. Um, but otherwise, really good solid play on both sides. Yeah, I knew there was a place for the relay like that, but I couldn't remember where the hell it was. Yeah, it's the <laughs> north... Uh, it's the northeast, so it's between the 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 pool of um, you know desolation and the north area. Um, it's not towards one of the three big spokes, so to speak. It's in between the north or the northwest and the the eastern one. There's that northeast area, um, <coughs> and uh, you just go down there and you can. There's like a little mini lift or elevator, and that's where you set up all your turrets and all things like that. And it's really hard for a monster to fight hunters in that little area. Right. Okay. I have to pay some more attention to it. Like I haven't seen. I've only had this is like the second one that's ever gotten to stage three on that map, so I'm not too familiar with the relay there. Okay, no worries. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna see if there's more people.